hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time stopping by hi my name is dami i am a youtuber based in lagos nigeria in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to film as well as how to edit your videos on your mobile phone this video is highly requested so if this sounds like something that you're interested in please keep watching by default the iphone records at 30 frames per second depending on your model you can choose other frame rates and video resolution to record your videos, you open the iPhone camera and you choose the video mode. Hold down the center of the screen to lock focus and when you are recording, you make sure that your hands are stable and you are moving from left to right and you are capturing different angles. And then the transition is also very important. As you can see, she's covering the camera with her hands. That's the transition I'm going to use. Always remember to clean the lens of your camera and you make sure that whatever transition that you use before the makeup is the same transition that you use after so since she covered the lens of the camera with a hand before the makeup she's also going to start this next video with a hand on the camera just so that the transition is very smooth always take your time when you're filming and make sure that you capture different angles and you pick the details of your work don't just stay in a place and always lock focus on your screen just like i am doing in the video you can also tell your model what to do, tell her where you want her to look and how you want her to position her neck and her eyes. Just You guys should just work together. And while recording, you can also take pictures. You tap on this white circle beside the record button and you take pictures. So once she strikes the post that you like, you tell her to hold it and you click on that white button to take the picture for me editing of the video starts from recording you want to make sure that you plan your videos very well you plan the transitions for your transition if you stopped the before makeup with her looking down when you're done with the makeup the model has to position her head downward and then you click play and then she's going to raise up her head so that the transition is going to be very smooth Please make sure that you record as many clips as you can because you are still going to be cutting some parts of the clips out when you're editing. So I'm just going to show you guys how I edit my reels for my Instagram with this video. My model is not going anywhere. I only did this makeup for the purpose of this tutorial. So now that I have enough clips, let's start editing this reels. The app I use is called CapCut. I use this app to edit all my videos, my YouTube videos, my Instagram videos, my Instagram reels, just name it. I love this app because it's free. There is no watermark, no ads. You don't have to pay anything to access all the features and it's available on both iPhone and Android. I already have the app installed on my phone, so I'm just going to tap CapCut and it brings you to this page. These videos here are videos that I've already edited and exported but I haven't deleted them on the app. So I'll tap on new project and it brings me to this page where you select all the clips that you're going to be editing. I already have all the clips that I'm going to be working on today in a folder, CapCut. I'm just going to click on that and it brings me here. So I'm going to select all the videos in this folder by tapping on it. When I'm done selecting, I'm going to tap on this add 16. And it brings me here I'm just gonna quickly run you guys through some of the features on this application so that you can understand this app I don't want you to just watch me edit this video I want you to understand what I'm doing and why I'm using certain features if you tap on this 1080p on the top of the screen you can choose the resolution of the video the default resolution is 1080p and it's suggesting 30 frames per second you can change the resolution to 4K if you wish and you can change the frame rate to 60. You can also convert the clip to an HDR video. Mine is already on HDR. The button next to that is the save or export button. The next thing is the window. This is where you preview your edits. This is the undo and redo button and the maximize button which helps you to play the video on full screen. Here's all the clips that we have selected and we're going to be working on in a bit. And down here we have all the settings and adjustments which you will see me use in a bit. Now let's edit this reels. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mute all audio on these clips by clicking the mute clip audio. That way I have turned off all the sounds in these videos. 
the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to arrange these clips and i'm going to split them to remove unwanted clips now because this video is transitioning from her video before makeup to a video after i need the ones without makeup to come first so i'm just going to find the clips without makeup okay here it is so now i'm going to move these clips to the beginning of the video by simply pressing it down and dragging it all the way i'm just pressing down and dragging to where i want it to be so now that we have her videos before makeup in the right place we will now go ahead and split the videos i'm going to remove the unwanted parts i'm going to cut out the places that i don't want in my video i'll click on the video i'm just going to drag it to where i want it to start from okay yeah maybe from here then i'm going to click split now that i have split the videos into two i'm going to select the first part that i don't want and i'm going to select delete so i've taken out that part now the video is starting from here okay so this third video i'm also going to split delete so now we have the before video and the transition so i'm going to make sure that this video ends with a hand on the camera i'm also going to make sure that the after video starts with a hand on the camera so that the transition is very smooth so i'm going to find that video where she was covering the camera lens so select and drag forward so i want the after video to start with a hand on the camera and split and do it make sure that the transition is very smooth this white this white thing is like a border this is showing you the end of one video and the beginning of the next so you can see that this video ended with a hand on the camera and the other one is starting with a hand on the camera as well just for easy transition editing takes time you want to make sure that you play the clips carefully and you select the videos that you really want At the end of every video on CapCut, you always have this CapCut thanks for watching. Always make sure that you select that particular clip and delete it. If not, it's going to be at the end of your video. The reels is just for like one minute and few seconds. So you want to make sure that you have the best parts of your videos in your reels. But I think I'm okay with this. This video is 48 seconds. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to adjust the speed of each of these clips. But before I do that, I'm going to import the sound that I'm going to use for this reels. Because I want the clip to be in sync with the beats of whatever song that I'm going to be using. If the song that I'm going to be using for this reels is a slow song, I'll do all my videos in slow motion. I'm going to reduce the speed. If the song I'm going to be using is a fast song, I'm going to increase the speed of each of these clips. Making your clips in sync with the beats of the song is just going to make your videos more interesting. Open the Instagram application and click on Reels. You will see different types of Reels here. And if you want to save any of the sound, you click on that sound and click on Save Audio. Once you've saved the sound, you can now 
play that sound back and you screen record it so once you stop screen recording the video automatically saves on your phone so it is that video that we're going to import into the cap cut so now that we have screen recorded the sound from instagram we're going to import that sound into cap cut now we're going to click on audio then you click on extracted and then you click on that particular screen recording click add it pulls out the audio from that clip into the application now we have the audio right under the video so what we need to do now is to adjust the speed of the clips to be in sync with the sound click on each clip you click on speed and here you, you click on normal if i drag it back i'm reducing the speed if i drag it forward i'm increasing the speed so what i'm doing here is i am adjusting the speed of each of these clips so next is transition if you click on this white line here it takes you to transition where you can see different types there's basic, there's camera, there's social media, MG, slide effect. I'm going to click on a few so that you see how that works. If I click on flip one under basic, this is what it does. If I click on infinite one, this is how it transitions. If I click on infinite two, this is how it transitions. If I click on then and now, this is what you have. If I click on flashes, this is what you have. If I click on blank. This is what you have now if i move to camera and i click 3d space this is the transition that you have if i click on pulling this is the transition that we have if i click pull out very easy if i click on up this is what you have if i click down this is what you have if i click left if i click right this is what you have if i click on social media if i click on happy this is what you have now if i click on mg and i click dot right this is what you have wave left wave right these transitions are amazing if i click on wash down now if i go to slide and i click switch this is the transition that you have if i click open this is the transition that you have. If I click blinds, this is the transition that you have. If I click on bounce, this is what you have. If I go to effects and I click stretch right, this is what you have. Split one, split two, split three, split four, this is what you have. If I click on max, and I click on eraser, this is what you have. If I click on heart one, heart two, heart rush. So the transitions are amazing. You can increase or decrease the speed of your transition. We've already done our transition from recording, but I'm just going to add this transition to just give it like an effect. So now let's play from the beginning and see what we have. See that? Can you see that bounce? Let me reduce that so that you can really see. And so I'll keep playing the video and see where else I can add transition. Let's just take you through this app and show you other things that you can do here. Well, if you click on edit, here is where we did the splitting, where we did the speed, there is animation, style, delete, volume, extract audio, remove background, edit and filter. But you don't really need all of this. In your spare time, you can just go through this app like I said. In audio, we've already, this is 
voiceover this is what i'm currently using to film this youtube video voiceover you can this is extracted i will use to ex extract the audio effects and stuff this one is text here you can add your text okay let me add my instagram i'm going to add my text enter text at james auto stream I'm going to click on fonts and I'm going to select the font that I want. I can click on this plot. I'm going to use my finger to drag it down to where I want it to pop. Then I'll go to style. You can select different styles. This is the same way I do my subtitle. And just click on style and just leave it at this. I can go to effect. You can put whatever effect that you like if you want any effect at all. So I'm going to animation. This animation is how you're going to introduce this James artistry into your video. So you can in these are different ways that your text is going to jump into your video. Now you click on out, this is how it's going to jump out of your video. You select any one that you want. You can click on loop. Different ones. So let's just do in. Let's say in. Let's pick concentrate. And for out, we'll pick um, bounce out. Now bubble. Here is what bubble does. Different, different stuff let's just see what we just did now we used fonts i picked uh, blood is it blood or bold or what is this blood and for the style i picked this first one for effects i didn't pick any effects for animation i picked the concentrate for in and i picked out bounce out so, so let's just see that Yes. so you can also adjust your text now if i want my text in just this beginning part like if i want my text in the before part i can just hold it down and drag it to where i want it to be and if i want to also reduce it i'm just going to tap that and just drag it forward if i want it to be on a particular clip i'm just going to drag it and make sure that it fits into that clip so that's it so this is it right so that's for text let's put that somewhere here for the purpose of this video yeah this is overlay i don't really need overlay for this reels but let me just show you how overlay works now if i click on this overlay and i come to add overlay i go to photos i can select any of these photos i think i've edited one of these photos so i can select this and add i'm going to use my finger to just zoom that in and i can just add this picture to this video let me just show you that so if you're filming like a tutorial or you're filming like a youtube video if you're filming a tutorial where you want to show me the pictures of products that you're using or whatnot you can just use this overlay and you can also drag it to the end of your video or you just leave it on any clip that you want it to be let's just do the dark because i don't need it so that's for overlay so now we have effect you can also include effects in your videos now for video effects let me just select one of these video one of these clips now for video effects there are different types of effects that you can use here you can see add to favorite i already have some in my favorite you can see trending and just click on view camera shake camera focus motion blur black flash different effects 
let me just pick on a few of my favorites shockwave camera focus so you know these youtube videos that they do like an intro like a short intro video before they jump right into the video you know you can use something like this to do that intro video just give your video like a nice effect i can use this shockwave for the transition in the beginning of the video let me just try that so i'm going to i'm just going to click on video effects and i'm going to add shockwave to this and i'm going to reduce it because i don't i want it on a particular spot in this video i don't want it all over the place let me just show you that So yeah, that's it for video effects. I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it for this video. You can also color grade your videos for this application. Now, if I click on filters, you can see that there are lots and lots of filters here. You have nature, autumn, cold, winter. There are lots of filters here. So now let me just show you how you can color grade. If I click on cold, I can reduce the effect or I can increase it. Okay, so let me just put that on, say, 40, right? Then I can adjust it. So here I can adjust the exposure. I can adjust the exposure. I can put it on, say, 10. I can. I can adjust the contrast if I want. Let me put that on five. Saturation. I'll leave that on three. That one. I'll leave that on say 50. What else do I do here? Um Temperature, if it's too warm, you can make it a little cold. If it's too cold, you can make it warm. And I'll just reduce that to like two or one. Shadows, I can add, can either remove or add. Then I'll click OK. Now this is what we have. Let me just show you the difference. I'll make sure that this one ends here. So this is before color grading. This is after. This is before. This is after. The next one is formats. Here you can see 916 normal Instagram. This is 16.9 for YouTube. You can just change the format of your video. Is canvas I've never used this one before adjust you can also adjust and color grade you you can also adjust the volume of your audio so let's see what we have okay let's put it on full screen So now that you're done with your edits, you're going to click on the resolution. Like I said, you can leave it on the default, which is 1080p and 30 frames per second. Or you can just drag it all the way to 60, leave it at 4K, and you click export. So now it's exporting, you have to keep CapCut open and don't lock your screen and wait for the video to export.
can share to TikTok, you can share to WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and others. But I'll just click done. Now I'm going to go into my Instagram application. Now I'm going to click on the plus sign here. I'm going to click on view. I'm going to click on the video. Now I'm going to click on add. I'm going to click on next. Then I'll click on next. Then you click on edit cover. Now this is what is going to be showing on your home page. Now this edit cover, you can decide to use any of this as the cover of your reels. Or you can just add from your camera roll and select any picture. Click on done. There you have it. You write your caption hashtag once you're done with your captions and your hashtag then you click on share if you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't turn on the bell notification so that you can get notified every time that i post a video see you guys in my next video As you click on share, it's going to post your views.